Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith and I've got a property for you. This one is in Humboldt County, California. And this picture in the background is the actual property. A good friend of mine uh, went over to the property and took this picture. It's in Shelter Cove. And there's a, look at this, there's a fishing boat right here, right behind, right behind the, uh, right behind the property. There's a boat launch. I can't, wow, right over here. Like just down the corner over here, there's a boat launch. And so you can launch your boat there and go fishing out in the Pacific Ocean. This is the south, kind of southwestmost corner of Humboldt County, California. Let's jump into the website and take a look at this thing. Well, there's a sideways picture. <laughs> Let's see if I get some other ones. Oh, that worked better. So there's there's some trees, there's some ground. You're standing on the land, looking out at the ocean. This is the Pacific Ocean. This is in Northern California. Here's, uh, looking back, here's one of the neighboring houses. Here's some more of the land, like looking at the land. There's a bunch of trees, walking around the land. There's a bunch more trees. Looking back at the neighbors again. And the ocean, the you know, ocean over here. So he's looking... Looking east more. Um, there's this car. Here's the view. There's the view off, off out of the property, looking at the ocean. Here's looking at the ocean. So there's that fishing boat down there. There might be another boat down there. Looks like a clear, sunny day. Looks like it was nice weather. Might be some kelp. I don't know. So I was hoping you could see the uh, boat launch from here, but you can't actually see the boat launch. So the hill's in the way, but just around the corner, maybe maybe right over here, you can kind of see the point that comes out that protects the protects the waves from getting into the boat launch. The boat launch is back up back up the corner there a little bit, so you can drive around the corner and go put your boat in the water and go fishing. And uh, my friend Eric Myers, who took these pictures, it has a house over here, lives over in this area, lives in this neighborhood, and saw this property that I've got up for sale. Said, "Hey, I'll, I'll go over there and take some pictures for you. Talk about a cool subscriber, right?" <laughs> he uh, went over, and took these pictures. He said he catches uh, Pacific halibut here as well as California halibut. So this is like one of the few places in the coast where you really catch both of them. And there's a big salmon run that comes in. So a lot of these people have boats. I don't see any boats in this picture, but other properties have had around this neighborhood, a lot of people have boats. So here's the land, and you're at the end of this cul-de-sac, and these houses are looking at the ocean. There's just this cove here. So you're on Cove Street, and there's a power line, there's a water line, and there's a, um, I was going to say a septic line, but it's not a septic line, it's a sewer line. There's a sewer line at the street you can tap into to get rid of the mess. Water comes in, sewer goes out, right? And you don't have to build the infrastructure to make it happen. It's all there in the street. You got to pay some fees to hook up to it. That's why stuff's cheap in this area. Um, the fees are around just over 30 grand for power, water, sewer, for all the hookup fees for all of them. It's a lot cheaper than here where I'm at, San Diego. I'm mean, going to probably pay and try to build on one of the lots in my neighborhood. You're probably over 100 grand by the time you tap into them all. Um, all the fees and permits and everything. So 30 something grand is a lot better than lots of areas. It's a lot more than everywhere. Not everywhere. Then some areas, some people hear those prices and they get awestruck. But that's part of buying vacant land and building a house is the fees of getting things hooked up. Or you could go buy some other land that doesn't have the utilities like that and go build them on your own. It would probably cost you more than what you'd be paying here to hook into the ones that are already here. And you wouldn't be on the ocean. It would be hard to get an ocean lot. I think this is the cheapest ocean lot on the Pacific Coast. I'm going to go look at the market and see if I find something cheaper. So here's a map. Here's the boat launch I'm talking about. It's just barely hiding around the corner. This is all Kings Range National Forest down to the south and up to the north. And um, I think it's kind of rocky down here at the bottom. But if you go around the point, up the northern point here, so if you go down the road and you cruise up the coast a little bit, there's a bunch of little roads you can drive. Um, there's Black's Beach. There's a beach you can go to. It's public beach. You can walk the dog, go have fun, um, go play in the sand, go have a, make a campfire on the beach and just enjoy yourself. You know, do beach stuff. Um but I'm, I'm a fisherman. I like fish. I took the boat out. took my five-year-old out in a boat yesterday. We didn't catch anything, but it should be fun. <laughs> we just got out there. Yeah. So here's the, um, here's the area again. And just looking down at the water. Um, here's Shelter Cove. Yeah, so there's the pictures. Okay, so... Let's, let's pull this up. I got it pulled up in um, 
Zillow. So I pulled up Zillow. Zillow's got the markets. We're in the bottom southwest corner of the county. Let's zoom in down here. We got Whitehorn is the area. Shelter Cove is much more of the area. And there's a bunch of properties for sale in this neighborhood. So they built this big neighborhood and it never really filled in. So there's there's a lot of empty lots. As you get down in this area over here, it's got the, you know, kind of this creek kind of cuts it off. But if you're on this side, you've got sewer, water, and power for the most part. Up here, all this up here stuff, it's usually got power in the area. It might have water, it might paved road. Um, they don't usually have sewer. So this is a sewer district. Stuff's usually more expensive down here. So the price is up here. You got to build septic and the topography of the hills makes it really hard to build septic in lots of these areas. So down here, what are we looking at? We're looking at houses. Let's look at land. There we go. That puts a lot more of them up for sale. So here's like 16,000, 35,000, 28, 35, 18. There's 18 is cheaper. Here's 4,900. That's one of my other properties. So that's another property that I've got up for sale here. 4,999 is the cheapest one in the neighborhood. That one's actually got power, water, sewer, and stuff, but it doesn't have the view that this one we're talking about. So we're talking about Cove Court. And for some reason, it's not showing up here on Zillow as for sale, but it's the one at the end of the street. Oh, it's Zillow says 12,000 bucks. I'm asking 12,999 for this one. And I think that makes it the cheapest oceanfront land in the area, in the state, on the Pacific coast. Um, if you can find something cheaper on the ocean, I'd like to see it. I'll probably buy it. Um, yeah, so I've got the cheapest one in the neighborhood with septic or with sewer. And I've got the cheapest one on the ocean. And uh, so take a look at those. We'll pull it up on uh, realtor.com. We'll go back into Whitehorn, Shelter Cove. There's 15. Uh, my listing's not showing up here either. I got to do something about that. It should be showing up here. Um, I just wanted land, but you know, there's nothing that cheap around 35 grand, 15 grand. Let's see what 15 grand's asking for. There's a couple 15 grands up here. Here's 4K. That's my other one that I got listed. So here's 15 grand. You get an ocean view on a street, power, water, sewer. That's that's probably the cheapest competition out there. 15.5. But you're not at the front. These other guys are at the front. You're kind of back. I think I've seen this one before. I think it's a couple lots back from the front. You gotta like walk out to the street to get the view. And they want 15 grand. So I just lowered this one. I was asking 15. Now I just lower it down to 12.99. And uh, hopefully this is the right property for you. So this is Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com. I'll put a link down below how to get back to this on my website. There's an online checkout. You could use a credit card, debit card. You can use ACH payment information to check out with this one. I'll go get it recorded with the county. I'll make sure the taxes are all paid up and current. And uh, get it transferred in your name in short order. And you can go have fun with it. Go build something. Go build a house overlooking the ocean. Go sell it. Go Airbnb it. Go rent it out when you're not there, use it full time, go retire there, go fishing there, or just store the land away for a rainy day for your grandkids or something. I mean, either way, oceanfront property in California. I mean, I don't know what kind of better asset you could have, <laughs> but maybe I'm partial. I like oceanfront stuff. Take a look, Luke Smith, realvacantland.com, hit the link below. Thank you, talk to you guys later.